more newness today. This was all sent to me, but so good, I would have bought it. First of all, we have the new Mob Beauty collaboration with Jessica Hayes, the Southern Goth palette. Super excited about that. Mob sent it to me just because they're lovely. Don't tell them this, but I totally would have bought it. Honestly, you know I love Mob. I'm wearing it now, so you're getting a little preview. And I have a whole dissertation on why I love this palette um, and what Jessica Hayes has conceived here with the geniuses over at Mob. Um, so I'll subject you to that a little bit later during the demo. But I also want to look at a brand that was br totally new to me, but I'm pretty impressed. And this is Wise Beauty, Y-S-E, Wise Beauty, which is the brainchild of actress, model, Molly Sims. She had really bad skin, cystic acne, all sorts of problems. So as that often does, necessity being the mother of invention, as the expression goes, she started making some products for herself and they sent over two really nice ones. So we're going to look at Mob Beauty and Wise Beauty. Both are three letter names because Wise is Y-S-E. Today, here on Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. I spent over 20 years in the trenches of fashion and beauty journalism working with some of the biggest names in the industry, but alas, not a lot of magazine readers. They're just not as relevant as they once were. Let's put it that way. So I have brought Not Fit For Print, get it? The name, Not Fit For Print Beauty here to YouTube. So you can have a sort of live beauty magazine to um, look through every day or so here on YouTube. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you guys know Jessica Hayes. She has gone over to the labs at Mom Beauty, which is a good place to be, trust me. And she has created the Southern Goth palette with earthy hues and a kind of a rhinestone cowboy sparkle in there. These are really, really nice. Oh, so pretty. And I'm gonna show you these. Um, we're gonna look at them here inside this studio lighting live, but I also do have outdoor uh, swatches for you. They sent that over along with their Smoky Amethyst Hydra Hydrating Shine Balm. So let's talk a little bit about this. Jessica Hayes wanted to do all these earthy hues that represented the American South, and she did this indeed with Mob Beauty in their Southern location. Um, and we have four shades here, three of the cream clay in olive, red soil, and cocoa, and then the suspended sparkle balm in sparkling champagne. Uh, and I want to show you the uh, 155 Smoky Amethyst Hydrating Shine Balm that they sent over as well. I'm really excited to show you guys these products. So let's take a look first of all. Just we'll do a little bit of a live swatch here. Isn't that pretty? Now, you might say, wow, that's kind of deep and dark, Rebecca. Yes, but, and I'll talk about this more in the demo, the way that the suspended sparkle balm gives it joy, light, and life is so fun. Let me see, I'm gonna put that on the bottom there. And you'll see that better when we take, when we do the outdoor swatches, but it's just, the sparkle in it really picks up the, shades that are in these deeper, darker ones. And for me, that's the genius, and ex I've used the word genius too much, so that is the intelligence behind this collection. I think it really shines through, personally. And then here, just to do a little live swatch, is our hydrating shine balm, and this is in that 1M155 Smoky Amethyst. It kind of wanna wants to go purple, but that gray just subdues it. And all together, they really make this beautiful kind of Southern goth look. Um, it's very exciting. I was a uh, Southern American literature major, literature of the American South. Um, so um, studying all that Southern Gothic literature is, it still makes me happy. That was a lifetime ago but still gives me great joy. And I do like the American South whenever I can go and visit. It's one of my favorite places to be. Uh, so this is a joy. Okay, uh, let's do some outdoor swatches in the warm California sunshine. Let's bring the Southern Goth out here to Southern California and take a look there. We have um, the cream clay shadows and then look for that suspended sparkle balm. And then of course the smoky amethyst lip shine. And I like the fact that all of these kind of cream clay and the hydrating shine balm, they just kind of play out off each other with texture as well as with the shade that they're in. Um, the textures just kind of match one another too. I think it's like I said, a really intelligent 
collection. All right, in a moment, we're going to go over to the demo, but I do want to introduce you a little bit more to Wise, YSE Beauty. We talked about Molly Sims already. So we're going to start with our SPF 30 Primer Skin Glow. This is $48 and it really has such a long shelf life. Um, it is basically a, an SPF primer that's got a little bit of a tint to it, but it's a universal shade of tint. This stops it from giving a flashback. I am wearing it with just a little concealer and nothing else, but um, it doesn't pill. You'll see that in the demo and can be worn under any sort of makeup for added sun protection. And you can really pile this on so you can get darn close to getting all of that SPF 30. So that's really nice. And then we're going to also prime our lips. This is a beautiful product. This is the Like a Gloss Hydrating Lip Mask, also from Wise, YSE Beauty. And it is $38. And this is, I barely made a dent in it, and I've been using it for quite a few days. It's just a very, very nice, no fragrance, no scent. Um, you know, sometimes I love all of those products like Laneige and stuff with the fun little fragrances, fruity and vanilla fragrances. But really, if you really want to take care of your lips, we all know this, you want to go with something like this with no fragrance, no issues, no color, just a true lip treatment. So we're going to use it today as a lip treatment before we put on makeup, but you can also sleep in this or you can just, you know, throw it in your bag and put it on whenever you feel like your lips need a little bit of moisture. But these are really, Molly Sims has really developed some, also intelligent. I've got to think of, think, I, I need to get some writer, huh? I need to get a thesaurus out here next to me. Um, inspired, let's go with inspired collections from two really cool independent brands. All right, what I want to do now is go to the demo so you'll see how we created this look. And we're going to start prepping our skin with the Wise Beauty and then move into this beautiful Mob Beauty Jessica Hayes goth collection here, Southern goth, um, super exciting stuff. So let's go. Let's prepare a little bit. Let's try out this Wise Beauty. They were kind enough to send it over. Let's have some fun with it. So we are starting, of course, with the SPF 30 Primer Skin Glow, which can be worn, they say, on its own. And I'm assuming, as this is kind of, you know, a primer that it's pretty much to put on with your hands, but I did bring over a brush anyway. I've been linking this. I love this Esom foundation brush. I've really been enjoying it. And I have been putting it down below in the description bar. So let's see what this looks like. We got a little bit of kind of a translucent, but you know, a little bit of a color. And they tend to put these, a little bit of this color like this in just to not have any sort of a flashback when it's SPF. Yeah, works really well with the hands. I mean, I'll, I'll add some concealer um, off camera. I just, I like this kind of a nice primer slash tinted sunscreen, not really tinted. This would work, but I think pretty much any skin tone. Just gonna kind of disappear once you get it on the skin. Oh, nice, a little bit of a glow. And I am putting on quite a bit, so I'm getting most all, maybe not all, but most all of that SPF 30. Really nice. Really nice, just kind of evened out the skin tone, took out a little bit of the redness here with a little bit of concealer for the dark pits of despair around my eyes. Pretty good. And then we have the Wise Hydrating Lip Mask, the Like a Gloss Hydrating Lip Mask. So I'm gonna just kind of go in there and just put that on to kind of get ready. And notice I'm putting it on quite liberally. Pardon the use of the middle finger, that wasn't to be rude. Just liberally, because I like to get um, the outside of the lips. I have thinner lips to begin with, heaven help me. But I like to get the outside. This feels really nice. This is like um, if Vaseline were actually for the lips, that's a compliment. You know Vaseline is a little bit too sticky and too thick? Like make it really nice for the lips without any sort of a weird icky smell. That's really nice. Thank you, Wise. I think I look ready to go. And this again, easily could be a primer. Um, see, it's on my hands now. I'm going to show you this. All over my hand. What am I doing? Seeing if it pills. It's the way I do it. You can do that in store too with a primer without having to put it on your face. Nothing. Beautiful. So if this were to go on underneath any sort of makeup, I know, I know I'm rubbing my face. It's bad for my face, but stay with me here. Notice this is not going to pill. That's the ultimate test. 
got to rough up your hand a little bit like that. Um, and that's nice. And it feels really good too. A little bit of a shine. Lips are prepped. I like to do that before. Didn't even need the brush. And I'm going to go just fix up a little bit of my brows and things like that. And then we're going to go ahead and play with this beautiful Mob Beauty. Super excited about this. Stay right there. You know I love playing with Mob Beauty. So let's start. I love their lip balm. This is the Hydrating Shine Balm. This is an M155 uh, Smoky Amethyst. It really goes well with the Southern Goth palette that Mob sent over. So let's give it a try. I like this formula a lot. And you might have been wondering about the name Amethyst, but see it has, it is kind of a smoky amethyst. So comfy, so pretty. And just kind of works for that hint of deep darkness that's so perfect for fall. And no scent or anything like that, of course. It's Mob Beauty. All clean, and they actually mean it because they actually care about it. Not a marketing stunt with Mob Beauty. They really care about it. All right, so. This is exciting to me. First thing I want to do, just right off the bat, I'm wearing uh, all mob except for we used Wise here on the rest of the face. But I'm going to take this. This is for the eyes, but I just want to pat it on a little bit. This is that suspended sparkle balm, and that's great on the eyes, but I just want to put a tiny bit. I don't want to be too glittery or silly. Uh, she says that she overdoes it. I just want to put a tiny bit onto the high points of the cheek. Um, just because I like it and it's fun and it adds that little bit of brightness, that unexpected bit of brightness to the look. Okay, but I'm going to also use it on the eyes. Let's see. Let's start with our shade right here, which is, our, I love this right here, this olive shade. Okay. And I'm just kind of going to go all the way around the eye. I'm wearing a green shirt today. So this should work. And underneath, oh, that's pretty. My goodness, that's a pretty shade. Um, who can wear olive eyeshadow? Well, anybody can, but it really looks nice on hazel eyes, brown eyes. I have straight up green eyes. They were hazel when I was a kid, but I have straight up green eyes and this works with them. It makes them actually appear a bit more hazel than they are, uh, but it's a pretty look. There was kind of a, a bit of a yellow to this uh, and it's just, quite nice and would work as a one and done but I really really love the way the folks at Mob Beauty and Jessica did this together it's going to be stunning okay by the way this is a refer number one you know that's my favorite refer brush but in case you're playing along at home um I'm going to put this really on the center of the eye just to brighten it up again but I want to use these two shades here same brush okay and what I'm going to do here, I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to put this in right here, just kind of on the outside and under, a little bit on the outer portion of the eye and under. I know I still have one other shade, but I'm just really, I'm having fun with this look. But talk about a unique color story in a palette, and uh, especially in these really beautiful kind of cream shadows it's just a really pretty look it's really kind of unique um, especially let me just explain why i said that because there's this sort of purposefully deep kind of dark and then there's this sparkle and the the play that that makes off one another i think is fascinating and really pretty and really artistic to be honest with you um this is the deeper of the two and i'm just going to kind of put that just on the outer corner that could actually be a pretty liner but i'm just gonna do that now i'm trying to decide if i want to use a brush yeah i'm going to use a refer number two just go in order here on this uh suspended sparkle balm here and let's just put it all across the middle now what i like about this sparkle balm is it picks up kind of the browns and the greens. So like I said, it brings a bit of light to the look without taking away from it because it kind of coordinates. And it's kind of a rule I have for myself. Like I wear a lot of black. I mean, I worked in the fashion industry and that's pretty much all we wear. Um, but I always made sure that I wasn't in head to toe dark colors. Um, there's something about that that feels like you're almost inviting something Around Halloween, this is great. Um, inviting something darker. I like 
This is just my vibe. I like when things are deep and dark that they have something bright and whimsical with them. And I think that's what makes this particular edit of uh, shades really fun. And if you can see, and hopefully I can highlight in there, we've got all the, the shades that are just slightly like a cloudy day. And then that little bit of sun sprinkling or like the rain falling in a kind of bright way. Um, and it, it has a lot of hope to it. And I like that. I do. That's just my personal thing there. Plus, I really enjoy, if you haven't tried, and a lot of you have tried Mob Beauty, some of you, um, and my recommendation, which I really appreciate because I love the brand, but if you haven't tried the Hydrating Shine Balm, where did that go here? It's around here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Um, I really recommend it. It's just super comfy and really pretty. A lot of the shades, too, are really innovative. This one particularly, as I said, Smoky Amethyst. This is like a almost wants to be a purple lipstick without reading completely purple. It's a grade amethyst. They're really innovative over there. Beautiful, beautiful Southern Goth palette. Jessica Hayes obviously was inspired and with help from all the geniuses over at Mob, Alicia and Vic, to name the main two geniuses over at Mob. So this is, um, yeah, this is good stuff. Um, I highly recommend it. Beautiful for fall, still has that bit of light and really, really fun. Now, as for Wise Beauty, well, that's that's a nice one. Um, I'm really enjoying that. I think this really works to even out skin tone. And I will also use it as a primer because it definitely won't pill. And so that's a nice one too. And all of this will be linked below. So check it out where I can. I'm putting things up here in YouTube shopping, but some of these independent brands you won't be able to see up there, but they'll be down below to either purchase or just peruse along with information on how to hook up with our membership, $4.99 a month here on YouTube. We have weekly lives, nice small group. We have a lot of fun. And of course, over on Facebook, that one's free. Helen is running our Not Fit for Print Beauty Facebook page. That's also a great deal of fun. You can head over there and find information on how to do that below, as well as how to find me on TikTok, Instagram, threads, and all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe. It's the nicest thing you can do for me. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.